Man, I, ha I have a serious question for you guys and goddesses. I have a serious question to you. Let me let me let me let me, let me get fresh, man. I got my, I got on my Ethiopian garment and everything like that. I represent the ancestors. I represent the Nubians, the Kushites, the the Kemites, the original people, the original man, black man, and black woman, man. To my N Y family, to the to the N G E, to the nation of guys of Earth. Hey, 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 I have a serious question today, man. Do I look like an Egyptian? Look at my face. Do I look like an Egyptian? Guys and guys. That's the topic of the day, man. But in the mean, raise your hand if you believe I look like a Kushite, Nubian, Ethiopian, like, 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 like a Kemite, like an Egyptian. Cause that, that's the topic of the day. That's the topic of the day. Now, I'm, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my time. No rush. I'm at, I'm at this raggedy hotel right now. I'm at the raggedy hotel. In the meantime, let me lubricate my throat. Cause I'm thirsty like that. I'm thirsty. Ooh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be preaching today. TLP is gonna be preaching today. So let me let me tell the story as a as an introduction. You know what I mean? Egyptian people, non-black, the white ones, they got games. You know, over here I feel like a prostitute sometimes. I feel like a prostitute because it's the first time in my life where People like people approach me by the dozens. Every day I got I got at least ten people approaching me, following me. You know what I'm saying? Trying to grab my purse. I mean, and trying to rape my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Every dog on day, man. I feel like a prostitute because these people they see you as a as a, as a cash machine. As an ATM, as a walking, breathing, living, talking, melanated ATM. Yeah. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook today. Let me, give me the oil. Where the oil at? Give me the oil. You know. So they approached me and everything like that. Very gentle. Some of them aggressive, aggressively gentle. Even know what I mean. Like it's very, very strange, man. Oh yeah, you know, we Egyptian, we good people, you know. Oh yeah, welcome to Egypt and everything like that. And they have they have a finesse that they're using to rape your pocket. Nine times out of ten, these people, these people, not 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 this guy. That's the ancestor. Those paper wolves, the invaders. The predators. Yeah. They have this phrase that they give me. They give me bars and everything like that. They say, they say, oh man, oh hey, you you look like an Egyptian. They tell me I look like an Egyptian. And to me, in my head, I'm like, oh really? Do I look like you? Do I really? No. And then they said, no. You don't get it. You look like the Nubians. Do you know why they say that? It's because the, the black Egyptians, they live in the South. The black Egyptians live in Luxor, Aswan, the South of the country. And so the black Egyptians, the Nubian people, the original man and woman, black man, black woman and child, they live in the South and the melanated people, black people, they're very dark. And why do they live in the South? Because when the invaders came and took over the land, you know, they, they came from, 
some of them came from the north and they pushed us to the south and we fled to the south. That's why the, the biggest concentration of black people in Egypt is in the south. By the Sudan, by Anubia, by, by, by the Sudan borders and everything like that. That's why Northern Africa is partly white, but the, the more, you know, the, fur, the further down you go, the darker the hue, the skin tone gets darker as you go south. You know, that's a, tra that's a tragedy of history, you know what I'm saying? So the, the first, like nine times out of ten, first thing they say to finesse me, oh, you look like an Egyptian. Really? It's because I am you, Marvel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was about to correct that. The, the problem here is you have, you have to, to, to remain vigilant, super aggressive. You have, you have, you have to, to keep your guard up, you know what I'm saying? So the thing is, they say, you look like an Egyptian just for me to, look to, for me, for, for me to lose my guard and everything. For me, for, for me to feel comfortable, you know, they say you look like an Egyptian. Do I look like an Egyptian? Do I look like an Egyptian? You know, you know, you know, the, the thing is when the, um, so the original people of Egypt is black people. Why? Because the name Kemet, which is the original name of the country, it means the black land. The word Nubia, the word Sudan, the, the word Mauritania, the word Ethiopia, when the Europeans, when they came over and they saw the native people, the original people, they were so dark that they, they used words in relation to the skin tone of the people inhabiting the place. So they call this Maur Maur they call it the, the Moors, the Mauritania, Nubia, all that. Sudan, Sudan means a black land. Ethiopia means black people so dark that they look like they've been burned. You know, so that's why they use the word Ethiopia for people in 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 India because in India people. The original man of India is so dark that you know they say, "Oh, hell, you look like an, an Ethiopian." When they when they got to um, to India, you know, saying those parts, they say the same same thing. They say the very same thing. They say to these people, they told us that we look like us. So every time they came across a black population with a dark Skin tone, they say you look like an Ethiopian. The Greeks, when they came, they say these people are so dark, we're going to call them dark people. I mean, and so that's why the word so 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 that's a reality of you know what I'm saying of the other history. But when it comes to Kemet, these people. They want you to believe that Kemet means the black land as in the black soil, but not the black people. Not black people land, but the land that is dark, as, as, as in the black soil. Listen here, I'm trying not to curse, man. I'm trying not to curse, because I got to keep my composure, man. Whew. I'm about to do some more today, I'll tell you. So they mean so they mean to tell me that, that that they went everywhere. And then they, they they gave the place a name in relation to the skin tone, which is dark, black, melanetic people. But when it came when but, but Kim, it means the black land as in the black soil, not the black people. And you want me to believe that? Let me cook, let me cook, man. Let me cook.
I'm cooking today, man. I'm preaching, man. I'm teaching, man. You know, history, it's a history, it's a history class, man. So when they tell me I look like an Egyptian, I say, look, it's a beautiful compliment. Man. See the melanin? Can you see the melanin in me? It's a melanin. Hey, let me fix my hair, man. Let me fix my hair. What, what, what is this, man? Let me try to fix my hair, man. Anyway, boom. Like I was saying. And so my reply to this is, it's obvious black people were here before. The kings, the pharaohs, the sphinx, everything, everyone black. And now, you know what they say? They say, no, 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 no. The Egyptians, the black, the, the ancient Egyptians, they were not black. They were not white, but they, they were not black. That's why they say. That's the reply. That's the rebuttal that they give me when I say, but you told me I look like an Egyptian. But when I tell you, so if I look like an Egyptian, an Egyptian looks like me, and I look like an Egyptian, so I am an Egyptian, so the ancient Egyptian were black. So the Sphinx is a black man. So the, uh, the Pharaoh says, black, so this guy is my ancestor. And he's trying to blow up the nose, you know what I'm saying, so people can't recognize these black people here. And now they get mad. You know, when it's time to finesse me, when it's time to, to rape my pocket, I mean, I'm an Egyptian now. I'm family. But when it's time to recognize the truth, when it's time to acknowledge that this civilization is a black civilization, that the word Kemet that, that doesn't mean uh, uh, the land of, of clay, the land of black clay, the land of the, the dark soil, the land of the dirt, so on and so forth. Because so you got 25 countries surrounding this place, and they all mean black. They all mean they all mean black people land. They all mean dark hue. They all mean black skin. They all mean um, uh, you know what I'm saying melanated people land and like that. But when it comes to Kemet. You mean to tell me that the word Kemet, no, it's not a black people land. It's a black land. You stupid. Mm -mm -mm. Let me cook. Let me cook these people, man. Let me cook these people. You gotta become aggressive, man. I'm telling I'm trying to tell you, man. I feel like a prostitute, man. These people approach me so much, man. I feel uncomfortable, man. Last night, you know what a niggas you you, you know you hey man, who you know what a man did to me? This guy, he followed me to up to this ragged, raggedy hotel, man. I was trying to lose him through the streets and everything like that. And he followed me talking about, oh yeah, we it's us Egyptian, we're good, and so on and so forth, and everything like that. Yeah, welcome back home and everything. So, so you mean to say I'm home? I.e., a.k.a., this is my house. Since when? Because when it was time to enslave my ass, when it was time to enslave me, it was not. It, 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 you, you weren't talking about welcome home. You, you, were, you, you were not talking about welcome home. You know what I mean? I'm trying to cook today. I'm trying to preach, man. You know what I mean? when, it, when it was time to castrate all my ancestors, some of my ancestors, most of my ancestors, that you, that you, you know, you took his slaves and everything like that. Yeah. It was not welcome home back then. It was welcome to hell. But since you seem as a tourist and you need to rape my pockets and everything like that, it's welcome home and you look like an Egyptian. But when it's my time to reclaim my history, when it's time for me to say, this guy, we have the same blood, Probably, it's probably my grand, 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 grand father. Only thing in the, the, the photo, the Photoshop, the image, so it look, it looks like, you know, look like this. But the original man, the original people, is us. That's why I'm here to reclaim my history. TLP be preaching, teaching, and cooking these people. Every day I'm on the streets, man, and this place is worse than the projects, man. You have to walk around bulletproof. Tell them.
This is what I'm telling people. I'm trying to warn you. When you come over here, you come home, but it's, it's a conquered land, man. It's conquered, it's conquered land. For real. You know what I mean? You look like an Egyptian. I am a Nubian, Ethiopian, brand Nubian, true Kemites, Kushites. The word, it's like the terminology, it's, it's no matter the terminology you use. The thing is, you recognize, you recognize me as a melanated people, you should bow down to me. Wow, because I, I did this, I made this. You know, this country makes a lot of profit off of tourism. The Sphinx, the pyramids, everything like that. It's 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 ridiculous. I think per year they make they make like 14 million, 14 million or billion. I think it's billion. No million. They make a lot of money anyway. Boom. They make a lot of money off of the monuments, the pyramids, you know what I'm saying, the sites, everything like that. You know the pharaohs. You know what I'm saying, and you gonna talk. And, and and so basically, what when they came over here, some of them they, they blew the noses of uh, of a lot of statues, man. Do you know why? So people don't recognize who the black people. That's it. That's it. I'm trying to cook today. I'm trying to cook. I'm trying to cook. Well, give me some oil, man. Organic, organic coconut oil, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, it's the truth, man. Truth hour. They make a lot of they make a lot of millions on the backs of blacks. This is why, on a serious note, I urge every black man, woman, child, elder, the youth, the baby, the unborn, the placentas, everything, the, the sperm, everything, the ovaries, everything, to come here to visit, to reclaim the history and to tell these people that we look like Egyptians because we are brand new being, true Kushite, original man, melanated, beautiful people with dark skin and never found like that. I'm trying to tell people, I'm trying to cook, man. 17 minutes in, man, I'm, I'm hot. Can you see the garment? Can you see the Eth Ethiopian garment? That's a beautiful garment, man. That You have a true Ethiopian, you have a true Kemite in front of you right now. Raise, raise your hand, raise your hand if you believe I'm, I'm a, I look like an Egyptian. Let me cook today, man. All right, man. I wish you well, man. That's why we need to read. That's why we need to read a lot of books. We need to read every day, man, to reclaim a history, or else they, they will they will write us off our own history, man. That and that's a sad story. It's like they're making profit off of our history, and when we come here. They're talking about, oh yeah, let, let, let me be your guide. Let me be your Egyptologist. Let me be your archaeologist. So basically, I need to pay my predator to teach me about me. What about this? What about my man Malifa, man? What about this? This is pure gold. Not this book, books in general. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Man, my man will leave that man. My man will leave that. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see my, my man will leave that? That's pure gold, man. The more you read, you should read 50 books a year, one book a week, every day, all day. You know what I mean? Pick up a book, read more. We should be a, a reading people. Black people should be reading every day. Quit the TV. Quit the, the, the smoking, smoking trees. Quit you know, hyper consumption, <coughs> hyper consumption, quit the, uh, the fast food, you know, be organic, be more healthy, you know, be more intelligent and expand your mind, you know, grow your intelligence, read books, be, be, you know, curious, read and travel more. That, that's my, that's my, that's my phrase right there. I'm trying to cook today. Now I'm a freestyling where to be and put me, hey, who wants me to bust a freestyle? I'm about, what well, an instrumental, man. I'm about to bust a freestyle, man. You know what I mean? What would you, look, look, look at this raggedy hotel, man. I'm thirsty, man, I'm thirsty. I'm a cook, man, today, I'm a cook, man. What, what, is, what, is, what is this, man? 
I hope it's not Coca-Cola brand because Coca-Cola, they, they, they make water now. They do water now. They sell water. Hey, my camera's about to fall off, man. What is this, man? Hey, man, Coca-Cola. This is not Coca-Cola, man. This is, this is uh, Aqua Delta brand. You know what I mean? That's nice. We should only drink water. Well, the water is the only liquid that should, you know, answer us. No juice, no soda, no coffee, no alcohol, no nothing. Just water, you know what I'm saying? Just in that way, you can save a lot of money. I'm telling you, water, just water. You know, I'm someone who never, I never drank alcohol, never drank coffee, never drank, never, never did drugs, anything like that. You know, sober, we have to live a, a sober life, simple life, minimalism, you know. Like the NOI, discipline. That's the message to the NOI. That's the message to the black man and black woman. The MGT. The MGT, man. Hey, you know, I used to, I used to stay in uh, South Side Chicago, man. Stony Island is 71st, I'm telling you, man. So that's the message to the NOI on Stony Island. I used to take the bus. I used to take the bus on Stony Island after like that. I used to go to borders. Yeah, I remember Chicago, they had a border, right? And I used to go to borders. From Stony Island, I used to take a bus. I used to take a bus, 2010. Anything like that. I, I, used, I used to take a bus on Stony Island, and I used to, I used to head straight to borders to get my books, man. I'm telling you, it was, it was, it was. And I used to see the NY, the MGT on the bus, and everything like that. I got mad, mad respect for my people. I got mad respect for my people, man. The Louis Farrakhan, and everything. And this guy is old, man. This guy is. Is older than the queen. How, how old is it? 90, 95? 80, 85? 85. 87. I don't I, I remember. I wish him well though. I mean. Hey, you should spread this, man. You should you should share this beautiful piece, man, with, with a lot of people. I mean. Especially my people in Chicago, man. My south side of Chicago. These these streets around here is worse than the projects. These streets around here is worse than the projects of Chicago, man. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. I look like an Egyptian, and you look like a like a pickle bug. These people talking about it's their civilization. So do it again, then. Do it again. Do it again, then. If it's you, it's like they claim that they are the original people of this land. You know, it's so hot. It's so if you don't have melanin, you you be you be cooked here. I'm in rice, gonna cook your ass. It's 125 degrees every day. I'm fronting right now because I got the AC on, you know what I'm saying? And I have, that's why I'm wearing long sleeves if I like that. But if it was up to me, I mean, without the AC, man, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be dead. You mean to tell me I can't stand the heat, but a pickle wood can't stand the heat and build the pyramids and not like that. Now that's a doggone lie right there. Now that right, it's a doggone lie. You know, it's all a finesse. You know. Hey, my people. I wish you well, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, catch you. Hey, I became a vlogger, man. I became a YouTuber, man. This video is going to be lit. Hey, you know, hey, you know, I got 27 subscribers, man. I don't give I don't give a I don't give a I don't give a fly. I know you don't want me to curse. So, hey, hey, let me talk proper English. Get me? Let me talk like, like, let me talk like the Queen of England. Let me speak proper English. Do you get me? So you can feel comfortable. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? And talk proper English. So, hey, quit, quit this bullshit, man. Quit this bullshit. I look like an Egyptian. It's because I am. I am a brand newbie and true Kushite. I mean. So that's why I say pick up a book, read every day, travel all the time, expand your mind, and travel throughout the continent. And also, um, I wish you well. Peace.